Hello again, Dylan and Toilet. This looks like gibberish to me. You know, I know I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm probably shooting this at the same time. I just, I hate to spend forever on the friggin' boxes, but then sometimes I feel guilty we're just looking at the front for like a second and people are like, can I see like the side of the box? I'm like, who are you? Ew. But here, here it is though. Here's that side. And then both uh, boxes, actually, this, this side is the same on both, except the number is different. But, I mean, th these NECA boxes, they don't, they, you know, you could go either way if you don't want to open it. He, he has a really nice window here with the shot of the figure. We get to see the sucker in there. They each come with an extra head. Let's look at this one, too. And this is the introduction video for, for this one. For this one. You don't know. Watch him in whatever order you want, man. It's your life. Again, though, I'm here, was here, it was like a year ago, for the for the comic series, chiefly because it is the original creators reunited to put this sucker together, you know. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm not that into the unironically grim, dark Ninja Turtles. You know what I mean? Who asked for that? Who asked for that? I just, I'm past that age where something is cooler because everyone has a foul mouth or is dead. You know? <laughs> you know? You know what is cool? Having love for everyone. <laughs> I know, I know. And now we're over here, spinning up our NECA Ninja Turtles Last Ronin number two unarmored figure. He's just not wearing a shirt anymore. I mean, I guess he took the, the shoulder and elbow pads off. Gonna be fine. This is the figure based on the comic series of the same name, which is collected in trade right now. Go ahead and check that out if you don't know. I'm not gonna spoil any of the stuff here. Saying that everybody dies is, is a little hyperbolic, but I mean, that's that's the setup, right? They don't call it the last Ronin because the other guys moved to Michigan. <laughs> so leave a like and let's go. All right, taking a closer look at Mr. Half-Dressed on a half-shell here. This is the NECA Toys Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin unarmored figure. It's essentially, it's very similar to the other one he just doesn't have. It's a different upper body. Nice turtle torso here, but the same... Same phenomenal sculpt work, paint detail, and all of this stuff. Look at his dried up little lips. Really clean, really clean lines there on the eyes and the forehead. All of this stuff, little contour lines. Battle damage all over the sucker. Head just up here on a ball peg, real real simple like. Comes back like so, looks down just a little bit. Uh, you get a bit of tilt too for that attitude, and it'll, it'll of course rotate on that sucker. You can more easily see all of the joints and things with, with this particular figure here. These uh, these arms, this upper arm, single piece, sculpted really well. And it's got all this scarring on it too. These wicked, wicked stuff. But because of that, these will come all the way up. Because they're just ball jointed on here on this nice hinge. They will rotate. Nothing in the way there. Nice little three-piece arm deal. Looks a little funny when it's just the exposed flesh there, but... You guys see how that works, right? This is just a sort of a separate piece hinge on either end. And it allows you to bring that a little beyond 90 there because he doesn't have the elbow pads. Down here, though, same really nice bracers with all of this weathering sculpted and painted in there. Gloved hands, pads on the back, more little contour lines, and just killer sculpted details all over this thing. You know, these little oblique muscles. <laughs> And the shell, of course, the shell. It looks looks just like they drew it in the comics. Otherwise it looks a little small, but it's you know, it's gotta fit under a gi. It doesn't even wanna be like overly bulging. Got the belt and stuff. The weirdest thing of all though is it's like you would think think of like traditional martial arts, you know, uniforms. And it just has like a robe, top, and some pants. So of course when you take that off, this comes with it. This doesn't stay unless you like sliced it around the waist, right? But in the in the actual comic, I mean, it, a lot of the cuts, the transitions are bizarre, but you see him grab it and pulling it up like it's a shirt, but then he's he's kneeling, and you can see this part hanging down still. So I, I, I guess it's separate. That's I mean, I have no idea what they wear in this time and in this place. Apparently it's this. It's a pair of pants, and this is either attached to the pants, or it's attached to the belt, or it's an entirely separate piece. I, I don't know. I think that it's bizarre. I think that it's bizarre. It looks a little bizarre when you're when you're tur when you're tu turned on to that, right? <clears throat> but the paint and the sculpt, I mean, all of that look fantastic. This is a nice softer material here. It's a nice texturing on the turtle butt, and that lighter dry brushing over it to simulate the the weathering and the fading. It's really really cool. 
But of course, this upper piece is just ball jointed in here. So it will not only rotate around, but it'll kick forward hardly any, back hardly any. Little bit of side to side though. The legs are ball jointed and they'll come mostly out to the side. You can see all that action in there. Come out to the front like this a bit, back like such, double jointed knees obstructed a little bit by the knee pads. This is the exact same lower torso on the uh, on the armored version. Same really, really nice level of detail though. All of this distressed marks and weathering and just the uh, the griminess on the on the bottoms here of these wraps. So that ankle is a separate little piece that will rotate independently in there. And the foot will also rotate independently on that sucker, which kicks back this far, forward this far, and it has that little bit of, of rocker here with the excellently detailed uh, turtle toes and sandals in step guard. Green, lighter green, brown. Bottoms of the sandals feature paint, texture, and peg holes. Sure, this is perhaps a comparatively easy release as both figures are very similar, but it's not like they're really cutting any corners here. Either one is an excellent choice. For accessories, NECA didn't mess around. They gave him the full complement, and it, they like coordinated it with the other release. So if you watch that video, you'll see what's there, and, and you have both. You have a, a set of each of the turtle weapons, you know? And even a set of these big ugly tonfas. I mean, they, they, they do, they can release like an EMP if you, you clack them together just right or, or whatever exactly it was doing. Some of those transitions are, are a little jarring. Visual storytelling, what are you gonna do? But he does, he also comes with the broken katana, which has this excellent metallic paint all over it. And even that break there, I mean, it still looks dangerous, you know? Okay, interestingly. That's not, oh weird, they are. Perhaps, perhaps one represents, you know, this is earlier in the timeline and this one's just dirtier. But I hadn't noticed that before, that they didn't quite match. Here is the side though, metallic paint, brown and black here on the handle. How cool is that? Nunchuck with actual chain. A really nice sculpted detail, it's like little pea pods, and again, the extra black, all, all of the extra detail on everything is so, so cool. It comes with the little throwing knives here, just painted a single that metallic color. Yeah. Look at this. This is Master Splinter's journal. Painted to look like pages in there and this clasp and everything. Legit. Here is one of the uh, different models of Mouser. This is a little flying one. They look like little dogs. Look at that though. You can go in the mouth there and there's sculpted and painted detail back there. That is really freaking cool. The M112. Little little blurry there, but you know you can you can forgive them a little. Obviously, they 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 try incredibly hard here. This stuff this stuff is so freaking cool. I can't even tell you. Except that I am. Except that I am. Comes with the uh, closed mouth and cracked mouth. But of course, they're all interchangeable. You have the other last Ronin figure, and then you have four heads. The the draping, the wind blown bandana here. You can see the way that plug will have that thing kicked. That's pretty rad. He also comes with the in addition to the open hands comes with a pair of closed fists. They all feature the same excellent level of detail on these gloves and the pads on the back of the hands. He's got the slightly splayed grip hands like the other release has because these, these are key for the for the sigh and the chucks, just holding them in different ways. And then you get this uh, this nice pointing hand. Some, you know, some slight, some demonstration here. You know what I mean? Look at that. They're just, they're just malleable enough. What, whatever they've done here, whatever you've done here, NECA, keep doing this. These hands are perfect. 
You should like pass these around, share these with other people. I get little flecks of paint coming off on the surfaces though and on my fingers. But that's that's because they really go to town with it. I, I love it. I love it. And there there haven't been anything, any like stuck joints or anything weird either. So that's also excellent. That's the other risk you run. You're like, oh, heavy painted figures, man. Watch out for stiff giants. These are just both of these. This one and the the fully armored release are just excellent, excellent figures. Right. Um, and you you can you can force these open wide enough to grip the journal as well. It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy, but he does it. He's doing it. You're doing it. Holding it upside down again. And, and, and of course, the ease with which these parts swap is just, it's, it's next level, man. It's great. That, that is what you want. In and out, but sturdy and firm, you know? Yank that. Oh, the ball came with it. Look what I was just saying. This, this head actually holds this ball pretty tight among all of them. They're not gonna be, say, off camera strength, but really what I do is I bite this in my teeth and then pry the head off. <laughs> It's the same size too. I, I, you know, eh, not to tell them their business, but you should probably have them offset. Then at the very least, I would know which one goes where. Maybe the opposite of what I had before so that this one sticks in the neck. Who can tell? That one does take a little a little effort to shove into the neck, but let's see what happens when I pull it off again. I know I'm wasting all this time here. Ah, that's what we want. That's what we want. Also, also all the hands are hinged the same way. You don't have any that are hinged up and down. That is like the <laughs> the most minor of gripes. But I, you gotta have something, right? You gotta have something. The NECA TMNT Last Ronin figure stands about six and a half inches tall. Here he is next to the fully clothed variant. But but wait. Uh, this this is actually a level. <laughs> and here he is next to a comic and a cartoon figure. Here he is with a couple of the NECA movie figures. Next to a Super 7 and a Vintage Playmates. They are reissuing the Storage Shell Turtles new in stores right now. And if you catch them for cheap, score, they're sweet figures. But I just... Some of these listings on the internet with people charging, you can get vintage ones for cheaper than some of these people are charging for new copies of reissues. It's trash. Don't pay that. God, and he just won't shut up and get away from it. Just swing the door open here. Just swing the door open here. All the crap goes falling out. We got a couple of stars there. Grapple. You know, you could put like drugs in there you know what i mean these are great these are great big wacky expressions pizza more pizza and finally here he is next to a mcfarland toys dc multiverse batman and a hasbro marvel legends morning coffee mostly bucky cap deadpool at the end of the day this is incredibly similar to the other release they are essentially this the same lower half on both figures but to me, they're not necessarily like different figures as they, they complement each other. It's like a complete package. You have both of them. You have the, the, you're able to change the looks up in new and unique ways. You get a full complement of the weapons, but you could go one or the other and be perfectly happy. I think the quality on both of these is, is top notch. All of the detail work. These guys really, these guys are really setting the standard. Uh, the articulation is, is, is pretty great as well. Some butterfly shoulders, maybe vertical hinges on a couple of hands, but. But these these are definitely no slouch here and no no stuck joints, nothing I was worried about breaking. Everything works really well. I want to say again, the heads and the hands, the the ease with which you can swap those is is so cool. The the fingers themselves are malleable enough and they snap right back so that you can grip something as thin as that chuck. These are the only two figures from the Last Ronin series so far, the titular Last Ronin himself, you know. But they have announced another slate of figures. I'm just, I'm stoked on these figures. It was a lot of fun putting these reviews together. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was, you know, a little informative or a little entertaining. And the fun doesn't have to end there. Click on one of these other turtle videos. And maybe subscribe to this channel. This may be the last Ronin, but it's certainly not the last figure from this line. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.